guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 20 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Love. I want to get green. You know, what, I'm going to say this even though I don't know if a lot of people are really going to comment on this video today, but how are you today? How are you doing? How has your day have, has been? Like, have you had a good day? Um, was it bad? Why was it bad? Was your day good? Why was it good? I mean, it's only two minutes to 2.30 here in Florida today, but I mean, even if you had a a good day, a bad day, an okay day, and no one told you today how was how was your day? I don't know. Let it be me or somebody else today to tell you and ask you how was your day today. I mean, because today I kind of received some bad news about my family, my cousin, um, and so yeah, don't really want to talk about it because ish, because family ish and stuff like that. But yeah, how are you today? I know that's pretty random, but so how are you today? Nice. I'm grab my hair for me now. Well, hey, at least it's not like Cardcap is the and you're doing Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I mean, hold on, wait. Didn't they also do Cinderella and Cardcap is the too? <laughs> Yeah, make yourself sick. Hmm. Of course it is. Thank you, Otaku Sense, for the email. Okay. <laughs> oh. What's your face, right? Mm hmm. It would rain today. Mm. 
Yeah, because he's the only one who can calm Machi down. Mm-hmm. Just let him calm her down first and talk to her and then come back. Uh-huh, yes sir. Okay. No, you don't need to. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, in a way it is, but... Cause isn't she supposed to get an episode focused on her from the manga? Like, oh god, I don't remember. Come here, Cody. Ooh, big boy. Hi, big boy. Clean? I know, not really. Alright, here. Okay. Okay. Still seems that she has her wall built up on her. <laughs> True.
Exactly. And even if you cut your parents out and they just you still love them no matter what. It takes time. I'm about to cry over this. Oh my god. Jesus. Ugh. So I'm sure you're going to have a better relationship with your parents. Ship away that little ball. What do y'all be hearing this stuff? Get <laughs> the one <laughs> Oh <laughs> Come on, who do you think? <laughs> Speak of the dumb. I'm hungry. I want some sugar. I'm sorry. I know that's random, but. <laughs> well, he is Prince Yuki, of course.
Oh. Be on club. So, who is playing the prince? Ah. <laughs> Do you not, Hannah? Hannah is the best girl. Yo, sit your ass over there. So, what if her dress is gonna be black? She will be the best gothic Cinderella ever. What are these two names? Mm. Well, I mean, it's not really everybody's business. You only have to tell everybody what you wish, right? I know. I have to. Well, that's the only way the door is going to get open. <laughs> He's not going to get PTSD from. I think he is, maybe. Huh? Uh, but it looks like blood. Yeah. I knew that was coming.
It's okay. This doesn't count. It was only to get Yuki out. Triggered a little bit of flashback, not too much. Just a teeny tiny bit. They would end it like that. But there is going to be a day where he is going to tell Toru. And honestly, that's going to be uh, probably a heartwarming sad day. Probably a, just as sad as Rin episode was. Because, I mean, oh, like, Rin's episode, I think, broke everybody who watched this show. But I think the day that we're going to get that, and I, I think it is coming. I mean, this is like, I would like to say part... I wouldn't say part one, maybe part two, three, or four for Yuki's story. It's coming. It's just oh my God. the feels with today's episode, mainly talking about family and why you wouldn't trade your family no matter what happens. I wouldn't trade my family. Yes, sometimes your family gets on your nerves. It's okay, but that's your family. You love them no matter what. Even if they say ish that, you know, they didn't mean to say. Even if you don't have the best relationship with, you know, your parents, your maybe your uh, dad's side or your mom's side of the family, because of reasons, you still love them no matter what. And if they don't want to talk to you, it is what it is. And sometimes you just have to be with people who really, truly care about you, whether you, um, your group of friends are your family, anyone else that you know who really, truly cares for you, that's your family at the end. But, I mean, I did not expect to tear up, cry today, because, oof, oh my god. Mm, but this was a really good episode for him. I, I honestly thought him being in that room, I thought it was going to be, like, maybe, I thought he was going to be trapped in there for at least maybe about five, ten minutes. But it was really only for, like, less than a minute. So he really just didn't get to be in that head. He got to be in that headspace, but not as much as I wanted him to be. I thought he was going to be really, truly traumatized by the time Machi and everybody else was able to let him out to the point where he maybe would have shared with everybody and maybe also Toru. But still, there is going to be a moment where he's going to talk to her about it because I don't think they've, um, quote unquote, and I don't know if I am right about this. Did they ever really finish the connection on, you know, um, the fact that uh, Yuki was the one that Toru met first with the hat on and everything? They did. They talked about it. Yuki talked about it a little bit. But Yuki hasn't told Toru about it. And that's the thing that he, that it was him and not who I thought at the time was Kion. But if it's, if that does come up, then that needs to, what, another thing that needs to come up as well is the backstory on Yuki and what also happened to him when, you know, he was getting really abused so much by um, Akito, but I don't really like to talk about that because that hurts me, but still, he needs to. In order for him to move on and become a better person, because he is on that road to becoming a better person, um, he needs to talk to Toru about this. Toru is, you know, honestly, everyone's light. In this show, except Akita, you know, because reasons. 
ish. I'm just saying because she has so much positive energy and no matter what comes her way, she's just always going to be um, sweet, positive, headstrong, and go through it like 100% no matter what in the world comes her way. And whether it's bad or it's eh, she'll get through it no matter what, whether it's by herself or with the people who are her family around her. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 20 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my Twitch squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 21. Bye, guys.